Okay, here's my new toy. Got it last week. It's a 2015 with 850 miles on it. It is a Razor 900 EPS trail model, which is what Polaris replaced the 800S, the original Razor with. So it's kind of the low man on the totem pole, except for the little 570. This one is the EPS model, which is electric power steering, electronic power steering. Uh, the guy had his and hers. They had matching razors and they had two kids. So they decided to sell both of them and buy a four seater. And, uh, he put a roof on it. He put that little windshield, which I don't care for. I'd rather have a full one. Uh, he put the mirrors, the side mirrors, and the rear view mirror on it. And a 4,500 pound winch. And bigger wheels and tires. I still have, I have the original wheels and tires. Stowed away. I got the, I wanted a skinny model because I can ride the ATV trails with it. A lot of them are limited in width and this one will go on all of them. I think there's about 10,000 miles of trails in Maine, so. You can ride all over the place. I ordered door inserts, they call them, and it fills in this gap right here. Let's see. Because Adam and I went for a ride, and mud comes flying up in there. That's no good. I don't know why it doesn't come with them, but it doesn't. They want you to buy them. Let's see what else. Uh, has a tilt steering wheel. Uh, it has low range and high range. It has a button high low beam and it's got uh, open differential in the rear. Two wheel drive open differential. They call that turf mode. And then the middle button is uh, locking rear. And the top button is full lockers and four-wheel drive. And it's got all kinds of different gauges on there you can select. Uh, what else? Two cup holders. The driver's seat moves back and forth. The passenger does not. Uh, it's got regular seat belts. You can get harnesses for them, but I don't think I need them. Let's see, what else? Oh, it's 900cc. It's got 75 horsepower. Which we found out is plenty. It gets up and goes when you, when you nail it. Uh, what else? Oh, I added this box. And it has all kinds of stuff in it. Now it's got uh, air compressor, tools, all kinds of tools, uh, bottle jack, uh, tarp, extra rope, uh, all kinds of stuff. I have to get an extra drive belt for it and stow it in there, just to be sure. This is a harness that goes, this is a mount that goes on the roll bar and that holds a fire extinguisher. I haven't bought the fire extinguisher yet, but I thought it'd be a nice thing to have. Uh, let's see what else. Funny enough, it's, the way it fastens in here, there's little holes. You can see it right there, there's a hole. But it fastens in here, there's uh, fast, two fasteners in the back and two fasteners inside. And they're actually uh, drain plugs from a boat. So I thought that was pretty cool. There's more here. You can, uh, you can get all kinds of crap for this thing. It's unbelievable. You can get an extra roll bar that fastens up there. That comes down here into a bumper. And then you can put all kinds of racks on it if you want. Really, 
really outfitted if you're going out you can go camping with it and such but uh, I thought I'd keep it as is for a while and see what I really would like to add to it if, if anything so it, it's got the belt CVT belt uh, drivetrain just like a snowmobile you take off that case right there and replace the belt it takes about five minutes but they generally last a very long time years if you're not thrashing it yeah, you can get a you can buy a windshield full windshield for it you can buy a full enclosure that covers the doors the full doors and you can buy a back window for it too and you can also add a heater so that's pretty cool it came with a snow plow and uh, raise and lower the snow plow you use the winch and he did plow his driveway with it for a couple of years he said it works great I have the plow and I'll be putting that up for sale because I have no use for it I have a little snow blower for my 10 foot driveway and it fits in my good old 10 foot trailer with about six inches to spare absolutely perfect and it tows great so Adam and I went out yesterday went for a long ride I uh, joined the local ATV club here and, uh, they have their local trail system which isn't huge but it's kind of fun and uh, you can actually drive down to the shopping center, come into the back of the shopping center on the trail and park and go eat at Ruby Tuesdays if you want. Or go to Home Depot, whatever. Anyway, that's about it. So, we went yesterday and I'll probably go by myself somewhere tomorrow. I'm going to trailer it somewhere and hit the big trails. There's some 10,000 miles of interconnected trails. No, but they're not all open yet because it's still too wet but a lot of them are open okay that's it